Okay, see, I don't know if I, well, I believe I did make a video years ago where I talked about the kind of girl I like, but I think some of the things that I said in that video has kind of changed over the years because that was like two years ago. So I'm going to make a video titled The Kind of Female That I Like. This is off top of the dome. So, you know, when it comes to ethnicity, ethnicity, um, I, I, I'm open to everything, but I do prefer black girls. Like that's kind of like my type, black slash mixed girls. Those are like my type. I prefer that long curly hair. You know what I'm saying? And it smells good, nigga. Smells good. Uh, there was one time I remember I was in class in high school, and there was this mixed girl who sat in front of me, and uh, I had told her one time I was like. I was like, <laughs> she, she, uh, she, she kind of thought it was weird at first, <laughs> but I was like, I was like, you smell good. She was like, uh, okay. <laughs> but like she, she, she laughed it off. And then, uh, and then, and, and then the next day when, when I walked past her, she was like, you smell good too. Like, you know what I'm saying? So like, she, she was kind of like flirting with me after a while, but, but initially at first she's like, she's like, okay, <laughs> someone just randomly say, you smell good, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, but yeah, man, you know, I like black slash mixed girls. You feel me? Uh, if I was there, a white girl, bro, she would have to, damn, did I do this shit right? Make some oatmeal right now. I think, I don't think I did this shit right. God damn it. I like, uh. Oh, I ain't do this shit right. Yeah, um, I like uh Yeah. If I was there the white girl, bruh, she would have to act black. Most of the white girls that I've ever that uh that well back in high school, I used to, you know, back when I was in high school, I remember I used to live in an all black neighborhood. So when I went to a mixed school, when when I went to a more diverse school. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was kind of experimenting with the white girls that was there. I was talking to the Ashleys and the Samanthas and the Courtneys, all them little white, white ass, white, uh, white ass white girls and shit. And I was experimenting at the time, you know, you know, uh, I was fucking with it and stuff at the time. But over time, I'm like, I don't, I'm like, over time, I'm like, okay, I don't like white girls that act white. <laughs> The ones that act black, bro. <laughs> the ones that act black. So, like, like even recently, like the white girls that I've dated have uh, acted black. I, well, I'm not dated, but like talked to. They they acted black. They had like all their friends are black. They they was raised around black people. All that shit. Those kind of white girls that I like. So she's gonna be white, bro. She has to be a white girl that acts like a black girl. It's Cause I can't date the white girls that act white. So I like black girls and mixed girls far as ethnicity body i'm not too picky about body like that i can date a, you know i can date many body types i can date skinny i could date uh slim thick thick chunky if she looks good enough because most fat girls don't look good but if she does if she if she's able to pull it off i could date a fat girl but she has to be able to pull it off most fat girls are look horrible but that, but I have seen some fat chicks who actually look kind of good for they, they, they look good for a fat girl, yeah. So, but preferably, I guess you could say I prefer slim, thick, or thick. But I'm not picky with that. You know, I'm not really picky when it comes to body like that because I know everybody can't be born thick. Everybody's not born with big ass tits, big ass, big ass cheeks, all that shit. So I'm not picky with that. You know, I'm not finna, you know, let my soulmate go away because she don't have a fat ass. Fuck that. But I'm saying I prefer that. But you don't have it. That's fine. Motherfucker. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you know, you know, that's like a bonus. You know, I don't prefer. I mean, like, it's. Uh, I guess you said I prefer it, but it's not a requirement. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really picky about body like that. Um, I guess you could say on scale from 1 to 10, I prefer 7 or above. But the lowest that I could date is a 6. But I do prefer seven or above. But you know what's crazy, bro? Like, yo. 
Like, because, like, there's this one girl who's a six. Because at first I said, I was like, yo, I can't date under a seven. But there's one girl who's a six who's trying to talk to me. And I'm like, oh, she's not really all that. But she, she, she kind of, like, she kind of grew on me over time. Like, she, she kind of grew on me over time. Even though she was a six. So if you're a six, you know, a, a six can grow on me over time. But a six is going to have to approach me. Because since you're a six, I'm not going to approach you. So you're going to have to talk to me if you want to get at me. I ain't even, I ain't even talk to you for real. Because you a six, Nick. But, uh, yeah, so I'll say seven or above. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's crazy. Because, like, bro, if you... If you sleep with a girl who's unattractive, bro, you have post nut clarity, bro. Like, bro, if you sleep with an unattractive girl, bro, you have that post nut clarity and you feel ashamed of yourself. Like, there's this one girl who wasn't all that and she sent me some nudes and I fucking beat my meat to it. I'm like, oh, why did I do this, man? Oh, my God. Oh, shit, man. Oh, no. But there's this girl in my phone. <laughs> That I text sometimes, and she's like an eight. I know for a fact if I fucked her, there wouldn't be no post nut clarity. Cause nigga, she look good, nigga. So you don't, the only time you have post nut clarity is when you fucking bitches that you find unattractive or bitches that have a shitty personality. So even if she is attractive, if she's a horrible person, nigga, you you finna, you finna have post nut clarity. So the girl gotta be somewhat attractive. She can't be fucking ugly as shit, man. You know what I'm saying? But I you know, I can't date no ugly ass chick. You feel me? But anybody can be at least a six or above. And I think I might get post nut clarity with a six. But I feel like if she has a great personality, then at that point, I I think I could probably get over it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I don't know. But anyway, so we got that out the way with the look shit. Uh, gotta have good hygiene, man. Gotta have good hygiene, man. You can't be stinking. The first girl I lost my virginity to, I got a story time about that shit. Go watch it, man. Go watch the video in my playlist. It's called Comedy Videos Slash Story Times, titled How I Lost My Virginity. That the how, the first time that I stuck my wee wee in some in some cooch, man. The bitch stank. The bitch stank, man. The fucking bitch stank. And fuck that bitch. She's she's a fucking scumbag. Fuck that bitch. Fuck you. If you watch this, fuck you. She's a fucking scumbag, too. So, yeah. <laughs> you can't be stinking, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. You can't be smelling like, you know, because anytime that, anytime that I know for a fact that I'm going to be around women, I make sure I, call, I go in that motherfucking shower, nigga. Wash up every day, nigga. Wash up every motherfucking thing. Clean my fucking balls. Because, you know, us men, you know, our, our balls get musty. Clean my motherfucking fucking ball sack put some fucking put some fucking shit on my fucking beard make my beard smell fresh motherfucker so when she all up on me she's like oh my god your beard smells good is that beard oil yeah baby it is baby yeah baby well i don't use beard oil but i use like lo just regular lotion and shit just like rub that shit in or some shit but yeah nigga you have myself looking right, nigga. How to, don't come to me smelling like fucking bullshit, motherfucker. So get that hygiene right. I like girls that got that hygiene fresh, man. Got that hygiene fresh, man. Uh, what else I like about women? I like girl, bro. I like girls that, bro. I like girls that are unpopular. I don't like the popular girl. Most of the girls that I've ever talked to has always been the unpopular girl. I'm not into the popular girl, bro. I like the unpopular girl. Like, I think most of my life, I've, I've always dated the chick that nobody knew about. That was so, like, out the way, people never gave her attention. That's a girl, I, I like girls that nobody fucking knows exist. I don't like all, like, the, like a fucking Kim Kardashian kind of girl where every man across the fucking galaxy is trying to stick dick in that. Man, fuck that. I don't want to deal with that shit, man. I'm not saying that I couldn't date a popular girl. I'm just saying I prefer not to. I, I prefer to date a chick that's low key. You go to her Instagram. She got like 100 followers. She don't got no fucking followers. She barely gets likes, nigga. 
She's barely posting on fucking social media, nigga. And she be at the fucking crib all day, nigga. Yeah, you know, I like girls like that. Homebody girls. Homebodies. They just be at the crib. This lot like me, I'm a home I be at the crib all day. Excuse me, I gotta fart. Excuse me, nigga. Excuse me, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I like homebodies, man. I like home gir girls to be at the crib all the time. God damn, nigga. Holy shit. I gotta stop eating meat, man. I'm 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 trying to be a vegan. I'm trying to be a vegan, cause when you eat meat, bruh, you fart steak. Man, fuck this guy. God damn. Shit, man. Shit. Holy guacamole, man. But yeah, man. I like girls like that, dog. Be at the crib. Don't be out there like that, man. Be at the goddamn crib, man. I like girls like that. Be at the crib. Don't go nowhere. They just be at the crib chilling. You know what I'm saying? I also like shy girls, too. You know, girls that are shy as hell. Oh, my God. You know, oh, my God. You know, shy girls that always like to hide behind me because they're so nervous. You know, shit. I'm like, hey, baby, it's all right, baby. It's okay, baby. Don't be afraid of people, baby. I got you, shout it. Hey, shout it. I mean, I not like super shy, like, uh, like, uh, like Hinata. Cause I think Hinata's probably too shy, but a certain level of shyness where, you know, she, you know, I, I think, I think shy girls are cute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know, I like girls like that. Let's, let's, let's be out the way. Nobody knows they exist. I like girls like that. I like girls that ain't fucking with a lot of niggas. Nothing wrong. Nothing. Like I said in previous videos, nothing wrong with being a hoe. Nothing wrong with that. If, if, if you like, if you like suck a lot of dick, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. But if you want to date me, you can't be doing that shit. No, 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 no. You want to know why? Because men, we like women that, uh, what is it? Uh, we like women that's, 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 that, uh, what, what, what am I looking for? Um, we like women that, I can't think of the damn word, bro. Women that are special, sacred, uh, we, we like women that not everybody had. We like women that, I mean, obviously most girls that you talk to ain't gonna be a virgin. Don't expect to talk to no fucking virgin. Nigga, I'm not a virgin, nigga. You ain't a virgin. Don't expect no bitch to be a fucking virgin. She ain't, she ain't finna be virgin Mary, motherfucker. But I, I like a girl would not everyone had her. You know what I'm saying? Because if, that, if everyone had you, nigga, you ain't shit. You ain't special no more. You're not special anymore. You're not special. If, it, if everyone put their balls in your jaws, nigga, you ain't special no more. You just, uh, you got, you ran through. There's nothing wrong being ran through. I'm not, like I said it again, just if, if, if you want to date me, you can't be fucking ran through. If you ran through... We can just be friends, friends of benefits, you know, shit like that. I ain't dating your ran through ass, but it's nothing wrong being ran through. I'm not saying that's a, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but yeah, I like girls that are sacred. If you know, you're not sacred if everyone had your ass, motherfucker. You ain't sacred if every man stuck his cock in your face, man. So I like girls like that. Not everybody fucked her and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um. You know, and I already said in my previous video that the highest that I could date is a girl that has a 20, bo 20 body count, 20 body count, but the lower, the better, you know, you know, I guess, but yeah, man, um, cause when it comes to body count, you got to think about it, bro. Like I already made a video about that. So go watch that video, especially when you're older, like, bro, like. If I'm 50 and I'm talking to a girl who's 45, I'm going to expect her to have a, a, a lot of bodies. You can't, you can't be like, oh, man, she got 30 bodies, man. Nigga, she's 45 years old. Nigga, that means she was fucking in her teens, in her 20s. No, nigga. So she's fucking in her teens, 20s, 30s, 40s. Nigga, what do you expect? She's going to have a high body count. The fuck you mean? <laughs> so a chick who's like older as fuck, 
Yeah, she's gonna, yeah, she, she's gonna have a high body count. It makes sense. I mean, I don't have a problem if I'm 50 and, and you're 45 and you got 50, 60 bodies. I wouldn't give a fuck. I'm like, oh yeah, you old as fuck. Of course, you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a lot of people you fuck. You know what I'm saying? But if you like 20 with 40, 50, I'm like, I ain't doing, I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> I ain't fucking with that. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, man. I like girls like that. I like girls that are smart. I can have a, uh, I can have a intellectual conversation with them. You know, and let's say if she knows about this world, about the Matrix, all of that shit. You know, that would be good. You know what I'm saying? But, but it's highly unlikely that I would meet a chick who knows about the shit that I know about. So if she doesn't know about it, hopefully she's a chick that I can teach to know about this shit so she can just learn it through me. Because most girls really ain't, ain't going to be as smart. Most girls, bro, aren't going to be as smart as me. Right? Like, that's just what I have to expect. Because, like, I'm, I'm too smart for <laughs> most women. So, <laughs> or people in general. Not even just people in general. So, mo uh, most most likely the girl that I know not going to be as deep as me. But that's okay. If she's fine, if, if I can teach her ass, now I'll just teach her ass. But preferably, you know... I want a girl that has some level of intelligence to where I, to where I don't, ha I don't have to do too much teaching because when I was talking to a lot of girls last year, they were like younger, they were like 17, 18 and shit, bro. I'm like, I'm like I don't want to teach all these girls all the I don't want to teach all these girls all it's like I don't want to be fucking Kakashi Sensei and teach them all this shit. Like, bro, I was teaching them, bro. I was like, I don't want to do too much teaching. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully she's smart to a certain level to where I don't got to do too much damn teaching. But I don't know, man. So, yeah, uh, like that. Uh, what else do I like? Um, uh, I, I like a girl that can, be, that can be my support system. Nurture me, man. Because, you know, as a man, as a man, we have to carry a, a lot of the burden as being as far as being a pr the provider, the protector, all of that shit. So I want a girl that can nurture me. You know what I'm saying? You know, if if I'm taking care of you, I want you to give me you know support, give me comfort. You feel me? You know, give me positive affirmations. Rub my motherfucking back, baby. You feel me? Rub my motherfucking manly chest and tell me it's gonna be okay, baby. You know, or I don't know. You know, I like, I like affection. I like affectionate women. I like shit like that. You feel me? Uh, I like a woman who also judges you off of what is the right thing. She don't care about how much money I got, all that bullshit. She, all she cares about is who I am as a person. She doesn't care about how popular I am. She's not a fucking gold digger. She's not a clout chaser. If fucking Drake's, if fucking Drake slid her DM, say, hey, baby, you trying, you trying to hang out? She'll say, no, I got a boyfriend. She'll curve Drake's ass, you know, because she doesn't care about status, popularity, all that. She, she doesn't care, give a fuck. But I like chicks like that. <laughs> like Hinata. She wasn't dick riding Sasuke because everybody else was dick riding Sasuke. She said, I like Naruto, the fucking lame ass loser nigga. I like girls like that. Die these clout chasing ass bitches. I always want to suck the nigga dick who got the most popularity. It's a bunch of bullshit. Can't stand that shit, man. Can't stand that shit, man. Yeah, I like girls like that. You feel me? Uh, I like girls that are not entitled. Think this because I'm a man, I'm supposed to do everything for you. No, you have to earn that shit. You know? If you want me to take care of you, you have to earn. First and foremost, I want a chick... That she's independent, she takes care of herself, and she's not expecting me to take care of her. But I just, but I just decided to do it because that's just what I want to do. But she wasn't really expecting it, but I just did it because that's just what I choose to do. You feel me? I like chicks like that who don't expect it, but I just do it because I just want to do it. You feel me? This kind of chicks I fucking like, man. And lastly, lastly, a freak. We all like that shit, man. I like freaky girls. I don't like no fucking lame ass girl. I remember I talked to this one girl before. She talked about she don't suck dick. You don't suck cock, bitch. Yeah, I'm about to, yeah, yeah, you talk to the wrong nigga, man. It's crazy because uh 
I only got my dick sucked one time in my. Uh, and it was by that last girl who who I said stained, and she ain't, she ain't, she ain't do a good job. Well, I guess technically I got my dick sucked three times, and two times was by a man. But hold up, before you start fucking saying whoa, check it out. I already, I, I, you know, I was a little ass kid. I was like four or five years old, and I remember this little four or five year old kid sucked my fucking penis, man. But I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I was a little ass kid, so give me a fucking pass. I don't count that shit, though. I'm gonna say it got my dick sucked one. I don't count that motherfucking shit. That gay ass shit, man. Fuck that gay ass shit. Shit. But, uh, yeah. She didn't do a good job. But, anyways. <sighs> no, nah, uh. Um. Uh, It's crazy that the fucking the fucking dude who did it when I was like four, he, he did a better job than she did. Fuck is a man sucking cock? Well, he wasn't a man; a little boy. How a little boy sucking better cock than a fucking? She was like eight. She was 18, 18 year old fucking girl. The fuck is that? But even the boy didn't do that good of a job. But it was still better than her. All right, all right, all right bro. Let me get off this. That shit gay as fuck. But anyways, man. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, freak. Yeah, so she got to be down to give me some guck guck. She got to be down to all kind of get, she got to be down to getting fucked in the ass. All kind of motherfucking shit, man. She got to be down for all that shit. Well, okay, she don't, she don't got to do anal, but I prefer she does do it. But, uh, yeah, I like freaky ass bitches, man. So, I, I believe I explained every motherfucking thing. Yeah, I think. I, th- I think I covered everything. Oh, oh, how a girl dress. I don't really care how a girl dress. I mean, I guess if she dresses nice, that's a bonus. But I, I really don't give a fuck. She can. I don't care how girls dress like that for real. She can just wear this some regular shit. I don't give a fuck. But anyways, man. Yeah, I, I prefer girls that let me be the leader. You know, I like a chick because I'm the fucking leader. I'm the fucking Hokage. I want the chick who lets me be the leader of the relationship. Now, when I say be the leader, that, that, that doesn't mean I'm controlling, I'm abusing her, all of that shit. I just want to be the one where I'm just the leader. She kind of follows my lead. You know what I'm saying? I like chicks like that. Uh, you know. I like a chick that understands my position in, in life as being the underdog and she does, and she still respects me and understands that I'm an underdog and I have to do what I can to survive. So she understands that I have to go to work, kiss my boss's asshole so I can make it. She understands that. She, and she still respects me because she knows I'm just playing my role so I can get to the next level and take care of the both of us. The girl who just supports my fucking bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of chick I fucking like, dog. Um, a chick that's fun to be around, you know? She's fun, you know? She's fun and stuff. And, you know, a a girl doesn't have to like everything that I like. You know, we don't have to have everything in common. You know, all of us are going to have certain things that we like and th- things that we dislike. So we don't have to have everything in common. Most likely, she's not going to like, I'm, you know, uh, I like anime. It would be cool if she did like anime. That would be dope as fuck if she did. But most likely, the girl that I, <laughs> most likely, because most girls really don't watch anime or watch cartoons like guys do. But if she did with, like anime and shit, and, and cause like like I be seeing like couples channels, like there's a channel that's called uh, J J D Anime, and they're like these two Asian people, and they watch Naruto and anime together, and then and, and then they have full blown discussions about the anime, like oh yeah, like they be having full blown discussion. They have a whole uh, reaction channel based upon watching anime. That would be dope so if, if if I could have that. That would be dope as fuck, where we just watch fucking Naruto and shit. Well, I already fucking watched it, but whatever new series comes out, or shit, shit. Matter of fact, Naruto's such a great show, I could watch it over again. So let's say we watch over again, and we having full-blown discussions. We just watching that shit, having full-blown, that would be dope as fuck, bro. So yeah, man, my ideal girl, man, my ideal shouty. I like a chick that will buy me stuff sometimes. You know, why do this men always gotta buy the girl something? Let's say it's my birthday, and she buy me something like like she she knows I like anime, and she buys me an anime video game, or she buys me this outfit or something, or she can, you know, she she 
she can get me some fucking flowers or some shit or just give me a card and tell me how much she cares. You know, I like that affection and shit. You know, I I like the uh girls like the girl from fucking Sword Art Online. I forgot her name. Uh Asuna. She bro, that's like my top waifu. Asuna. That's like my top waifu. Bro, she cares for she she'll put her life on the line for Kirito. That's kind of chicks I fucking like, man. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of chick I fucking like, bro. But uh Yeah, oh, also, oh, I forgot to say. Uh, I also like they, and it's just this is just my this my as I said in the last video my evolutionary fucking shit you know this most guys like younger girls I you know I I kind of prefer a girl who's like a few years younger than me you know shit like that I don't know why I like younger girls but I like I kind of prefer like a younger girl for some reason and that's just like my evolutionary shit how most women most men like younger girls most men women like older guys and shit so yeah I like a younger chick as well but um. So I'm gonna say I'm out in the video and, and then I cut Karen back on. I like um even though I say I'm also uh like a chick that's healthy. Because see see when you're younger, you can eat flaming hot Cheetos every day, eat all that bullshit, and you'll be okay because you're younger. When you get older, that shit takes a toll on you. So I do prefer a girl that's healthy and works out and shit like that. Now I don't work out consistently. Motherfucker, I ain't that bad, but yeah, I could use some work. But uh, the reason why, because I'm so damn busy, bro. It's like, I, you know, if I had time, which which I'm working on that. If I had time, bro, I'll go to gym every day, jog, fucking do sprints, fucking practice my martial arts. I'll be on, I'll be fit to the motherfucker. It's just I don't have a lot enough time to do it. So that's why I'm not in my prime shape. I don't have enough damn time, you know, like I don't want to just do like a fucking 10, 20 minute workout a day. It's like it, it just doesn't like, bro, like I want to really like go hard with my body and shit. So and shit, you know, like so I mean, you know, so for a lot of girls and shit, you know, like, so yeah, but, you know, I prefer a girl who works out, eats healthy, all of that stuff. So we can live a long life together because I don't want to be eating healthy, but you eating bullshit and then you die from cancer or some shit like that because you eating McDonald's every day. That's unattractive to see a girl chowing. I mean, it's, 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 it's just unattractive seeing women eating junk food every day. I don't, I, don't like the, I don't like looking at that shit. That's just unattractive to me. You eating Burger King every day. I don't like that shit. Right now, you, it's okay because you're young. Do that shit in your 30s. You're going to be fucking yourself up, man. So nah, man. So yeah, man. You know... I like just to eat healthy, work out, have a nice body, shit like that. I mean, I prefer that, but I'm saying, you know, it's not a... Pre I mean, I prefer a chick that does that. But um, I, I ain't really too picky about body like that. I ain't too picky about the body, but at least, you know, I want her to at least work out and eat healthy and stuff. But, you know, but, um, but you know, that's what I do prefer. But I don't know, man. That's all I got to say. I'm out. Yeah, man. You know, I like a chick... Like, cause you know, he not to like Naruto, even though he was getting bullied, he was always getting his ass kicked, shit like that. She still liked him, you know, because she, she respected who he was as a person in his mindset. You know, I like girls like that. Even if you saw a man kick my fucking ass, you'll still respect me. Even though I got my fucking ass kicked, you know what I'm saying? I like that shit also. So like I said, I'm out. So like a chick that's like not that's not too friendly, doesn't really have a lot of guy friends, doesn't really talk to guys like that for the most part. You know, she's not really uh, trying to, you know, up in guys' faces, all of that. You know, she, the only guy she cares about is my attention, you know. Or she might hang out with her family, her family for males. But any other male, she's she's only talking to me, so she's not super friendly, all up in guys' faces, all of that shit. You know, that's also what I like as well. So like a chick that's like not that's not too friendly, doesn't really have a lot of guy friends, doesn't really talk to guys like that for the most part. You know, she's not really uh, trying to, you know, up in guys' faces, all of that. You know, she, she's the only guy she cares about is my attention, you know, or she might hang out with her family, her family for males. But any other male, she's she's only talking to me, so she's not super friendly, all up in guys' faces, all of that shit. You know, that's also what I like as well.